As the Pro Football Hall of Fame removes a photo of Aaron Hernandez scoring a touchdown, a photo of another sort has surfaced, as you can see, expressing support for Hernandez. The Pouncey brothers, Mike and Marquise, were teammates with Hernandez at Florida and were photographed wearing free Hernandez hats over the weekend. Mike Pouncey is a center for the Dolphins and his brother Marquise is a center for the Steelers. Here's the question, Stephen A., and I'll phrase it this way for you. Are you okay with NFL players showing their support for Aaron Hernandez? <sighs> Not in that way. I can tell you that much. Um, let me be very, very clear about my position on this. It was stupid, and it was selfish. Marquise and, you know, the Pouncey, but listen, they're nice guys. They're brothers. Uh, they're good players. They work hard. And I don't think this in any way should define their character, their integrity, or whatever the case may be. They made a mistake, and that's that. I'm not trying to take this beyond that when it comes to them. But it is important that we stop and pause while talking about this particular act on their part in terms of taking the photo, and wearing the hat, et cetera, et cetera, Free Hernandez, Aaron Hernandez, all of this stuff, to point out the level of stupidity and insensitivity that comes attached with this. Aaron Hernandez has been arrested for murder. This is not a game. He is in jail awaiting trial on murder charges. An investigation is taking place as to his involvement in a double murder that took place five years earlier. Free what? Free who? In what world? You have to find out whether or not there's any truth to this whatsoever. If you're the Pouncey brothers, because if he is guilty of such a thing, are you going to be screaming about freeing him then? If you really want to show your support, ESPN is in Bristol, Connecticut. Ain't that right? This is true. Ain't Aaron Hernandez from Bristol, Connecticut? Mm -hmm. That is correct. Ain't the jail that he's in, isn't it in that area, that locale, if I remember correctly? Okay? I mean, where, where he's staying, where they moved Aaron Hernandez to. All right? It's Connecticut, I believe. It's somewhere. It's somewhere nearby. I think so. Well, the Pouncey brothers need to show up to the jail yeah. to visit him and show their support is my point. You want to show your support. Show up at the jail and visit him. Make some phone calls. Let him call you collect. You understand? You, you, you do whatever you got to do. But you don't do this. Because when you do this, suddenly this is not about you, which is the part, the second part where it comes in, where I point to selfishness. You are an NFL player. You represent the NFL. You are an extension of the NFL. So when you do something in a public platform, not only is it flagrantly stupid, but it's selfish because now you have impugned the brand and the integrity of the very league that employs you. A league, by the way, that has had over about 31 arrests since the Super Bowl that is going through its troubles from an image perspective because of the actions, not only the actions of certain individuals, but also the perception that the league is growing increasingly lawless. So if you have take if you take this position, then what it does is give the impression that you're okaying potential lawlessness, mm. which is a bad thing for the sure. NFL. How can you be that selfish? Yeah. The Pouncey brothers, again, I've met them. I like them. I think they're talented. And this is a mistake. But it needs to be addressed with the fervor that I'm bringing to the table because this kind of nonsense cannot happen. Mm -hmm. It is stupid and it is selfish. Mm -hmm. They need to be called in the office by the Miami Dolphins and the Pittsburgh Steelers. They will be. They be, need to be reprimanded in some fashion. And they, be, they need to have it made very, very clear to them that this better not happen again. You want to support Aaron Hernandez, go to the jail cell, visit him in Which all is in Bristol County in Massachusetts. Yeah, exactly. So I get what you're saying. Right, right. Yes. Okay. That was the confusion. The irony of what you just said is, by all accounts, everything I've heard and read, these two young men are, are two of the better citizens and yes. better guys in the National Football League. And we're back to my original point about Aaron Hernandez. When I called him the first day we were back from vacation, a sociopath. He can be extremely convincing to his teammates and even all the way up to his owner, Bob Kraft, who said, I was duped. 
I got fooled by this kid. I thought he was great. I thought he, you know, remember he donated the money to the Meyer Craft Fund. Mm -hmm. He wanted to be a role model for the, the Hispanic Latino community. community. Yeah. And wow, how did this happen? And I use the analogy, it's, it's like the serial killer who finally gets caught and all the neighbors say, he was such a nice man. Yeah. Well, that's what they say. So many teammates have spoken positively about the Aaron Hernandez they knew. The guy who worked hard, who played hard, and they were a little skeptical, I mean, a little, little uh, not, not, not plugged into what he was off sure. the field. They sure. really didn't know that much about him. He's a little shadowy Except off the Matt field. Except for Matt Light. Except for Matt Light, who just said, that was just an image thing, just going on tattoos, I think, alone. Matt Light said, I don't believe in anything he stood for image-wise. I don't think Matt knew him off the field. Okay. So the point is, the, the, their hearts are in the right place. Their minds are not in the right place. And we're back to, we're in a new day, new age, because everybody in wherever they, I don't know what the setting was, everybody's got the internet right in their hands. And all, all it takes is just one little camera phone picture. I don't see how they didn't think they would get in trouble I for don't that, know. or there would not be a problem with them wearing know. these hats. Skip, I don't understand skip, that. Skip, Kerry, Skip, your points are right on the money. You're not wrong. But at the same point in time, again, that's not the big issue. Aaron Hernandez being a, so, a potentially a sociopath and really fooling and hoodwinking everybody, to me, is irrelevant. He has been arrested yeah. and charged with murder. Sure. What the hell are you doing taking pictures with a hat that says free Hernandez for? Do you know anything about the case? Okay? And by the way, you don't work for yourself. You work for the NFL. And you know what the NFL has had to endure in recent memory. Why in God's name I agree. are you standing front and center wearing a hat essentially okaying in a lot of people's eyes, even though I'm sure that was not their intent. Sure. You are basically given an okay. You, when you wear a hat that says free Hernandez, what you are implying is even if he is guilty, we don't care. Now, I know that's not what they meant. That's not the way it should be interpreted, but that's the way a lot of people are going to interpret it, which is why the NFL and everybody else is saying you guard yourself against that. And Aaron Hernandez will have his day. I am not here to convict him in a court of public opinion. We don't know the details. We know what they reported. Mountain uh, you know, of circumstantial. A mountain of circumstantial yeah. evidence. It's irresponsible for us to sit there and attach yep. guilt to him. That would be irresponsible and wrong. The, the, they'll have a trial and we'll find that out. Sure. But he has been arrested for murder and is being investigated uh, for a double murder. What there is, is no football player in the NFL that, that should be, be sitting that. there and wearing some hat talking about free Hernandez. That is just ignorant. It's we'll hear more about the context. That we'll the Steelers will talk to Marquise. You got on a hat that says free Hernandez. There is no context. We leave it there, gentlemen. We have more first take after the break. Stick around. We're live.